Welcome to the Proton Guru video practice for topic 4.14. These problems will give you practice on utilizing oxidation and reduction of substituents on benzene rings in applications to multi step synthesis. Some brief and straightforward reading to help you get ready for these problems can be found in the Organic Chemistry 2 Primer 2019 by Professor Hujiri and co authors. And you can find many more chemistry videos and information on how to match the videos to whatever course textbook you are using at protonguru.com. So here's another example in which we have two substituents. We've got a carboxylic acid and we have this sulfonic acid group. So we ask ourselves, can we place these groups on using electrophilic aromatic substitution? And in this case, we can put the sulfonic acid group on using the sulfonation reaction, but we do not have a way from the standard electrophilic aromatic substitution re reactions we learn in organic chemistry to place a carboxylic acid on. So how can we make a carboxylic acid from something that we can place onto the benzene ring using electrophilic aromatic substance? Well, a standard way to do this would be to have a methyl group and a strong oxidizing agent like potassium permanganate, and that will give you the carboxylic acid. And of course, we know how to put methyl groups or any other alkyl groups on a benzene ring using electrophilic aromatic substitution. And at that point, you can then figure out what order do I, do I have to do the electrophilic aromatic substitution and the oxidation steps to accomplish this. And again, we have to reason ahead of time, if I have either the sulfonic acid or the carboxylic acid in place before the next electrophilic aromatic substitution step, well, these are both meta-directing groups. So we would get a meta-isomer, but our target is the para-isomer. So we're going to have to start by putting the methyl group on here using the friedel crafts alkylation reaction, where you use aluminum trichloride with the methyl chloride. Next, we can do the sulfonation reaction, which uses sulfuric acid or fuming sulfuric acid if you have SO3 present as well. This will give you, again, a mixture of the para and ortho isomers because the methyl group that is present before that step is an ortho para director. It's an alkyl group. We would do some sort of separation to isolate this para isomer and carry it forward to the next step, which would be oxidation to give us the carboxylic acid. And we'll treat this next problem the same way. Here we're asked to place an ethyl group and a NH2 group meta to one another. Can we place these groups using electrophilic aromatic substitution? Well, we've already looked at a couple examples where we've used the friedel crafts alkylation to put an alkyl group on, in this case an ethyl group, but we don't have a way to put NH2 on the benzene ring directly using reactions that are usually taught in an introductory organic chemistry class. So how can we make an NH2 group from some substituent that we can place on the benzene ring using electrophilic aromatic substitution? We know that if we put a nitro group on using nitration, we could reduce that using either palladium with hydrogen gas or tin with hydrochloric acid. They'll both accomplish the same thing to take the oxygens off the nitrogen and place hydrogens there. So once we figure out the type of chemistry we need to employ, we have to figure out the correct order of these steps. And here we want a meta-isomer. So we're going to want to have a meta-directing substituent in place prior to putting the second substituent on. The only substituent that is a meta-director, if we think about, well, we're eventually going to have to have an NO2, an NH2, and an ethyl group, the things we're going to encounter in the course of the synthesis. The only one that's a meta director is the nitro group, so we're going to have to put that on first using these nitration conditions. That's a meta director, so the next group will go meta to the nitro group. We've got to put the ethyl group on at that point. And then we just do a reduction. We could use the hydrogen gas with the palladium catalyst, or we could use the tin with some hydrochloric acid. We've got our correct product. Here's another case where we're trying to make a meta substituted benzene ring where there's a methyl group on one site and this alcohol bearing substituent on the other. Say, so, well, can we put these groups on with electrophilic aromatic substitution? We can, of course, put the methyl group on with the friedel crafts alkylation, but we don't know how to directly put this group that has an alcohol functional group on it using our usual electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. So how could we make that alcohol from other groups we can put on using electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction? One thing we could consider is that if I have a ketone in the benzylic position on the benzylic carbon, I can easily reduce that using hydrogen and palladium to get this target alcohol substituent. And of course, we know how to put this ketone on using the friedel crafts acylation reaction. 
So now it's just a matter of figuring out the order of our electrophilic aromatic substitution and reduction steps. We have to put on a methyl group, we have to put on the ketone, and then we have to reduce that ketone to the alcohol. Well, we want the meta isomer, so we're going to put the meta directing substituent on first. If we put the methyl group on first, that's an ortho para director. So we're going to favor putting on this ketone substituent that is a meta director. There's a partial plus, partial minus, it's electron withdrawing. So then when I do the second step, which is the Friedel Crafts alkylation to put this methyl group on, it will favor being placed at the meta position. And then we can do the reduction so that this ketone adds a hydrogen to each of the two sites. And of course, you've now made a chiral center right here, so you'll have to generate this as a racemic mixture.